Hi, this is Mark from Sparkle Horse. You're watching Toasted. How you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Finally back in Holland. Yeah, it's been four years, three years. Yeah, a long time. Wow. Yeah. What happened? Um, I don't know. I just didn't tour for a while. It just took a long time to do this record. So almost five years, I guess. Yeah, 2001 was the last one. Yeah. I think you were brought out. Right. And what has happened after that? Because you've been touring around, and all of a sudden it was quiet. Um, I just stopped playing music for a while. I just quit. I don't know. I lost interest in. I like playing songs, but I didn't like um. Didn't really like playing them in front of people anymore. I just like playing them on my couch and having that be it. I lost interest in recording them. And what? What caused that? Depression, mostly, I think. But it's nothing, almost nothing cooler to play in front of a big crowd who was like very cool and nice to you and clapping after each song, isn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, I was terrified to to tour again, but it's going great. The band I have are fantastic, and the drummer is my best friend for like 20 years or more, and um, all the shows have been selling out, and it's fantastic. Cool. Sometimes uh, in Dublin, the audience was singing so loud, I didn't even sing some songs. They, <laughs> they sang the whole song. Really, man? That's that's cool. That's cool. And for the people who don't know, are like a new fans here in Holland, could you give a short history of Sparkle Horse? Short history? Yeah, because you're 10 years on the road now, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm really bad with time. Uh, my concept of time is really skewed, but, uh, well, my first album was Speed the Dixie. The second album, I think, was in 98, and that was Good Morning Spider. Um, both of those were recorded pretty much alone at home. And my third album, It's a Wonderful Life, I traveled around and worked with other people and tried to learn more of the technical end of recording and get, get better at being a recordist. Um, and my new album just came out. I said, last album, It's a Wonderful Life, was 2001. And my new album just came out a month ago. How did you decide finally to play in front of people again? Because there must be some night on your couch, like, okay, I just want to do it again. Um, well, I couldn't pay my rent anymore. <laughs> I just, really? Uh, yeah. That's the reason why? That's one of the reasons yeah. why. Uh. Um, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't live anymore. And um, then I started actually thinking that the sounds that I heard in my head that I could maybe make an interesting record again. And that's when I started working again. And then all of a sudden you thought like, oh, great, feels good again. Yeah, it started to after a while. I, I had serious doubts that I'm I would starting have to, up. Yeah, starting yeah. again. But yeah. then, but then yeah, once it got going, once I, I did some sessions with other people, I did a little bit with Danger Mouse, and that was exciting. And so yeah, it's I've sort of reconnected with some people on, on tour. I saw my friend Christian Finez last night, and we're, we're planning a record together. Okay. So he's a real important yeah. uh, musician to me. What did you see him? Uh, last night at Les Seagal. So we're, we're planning on doing a record in the next few months or so. Okay. Yeah. So another Sparkle Horse record in featuring... Uh, well, no, it's not going to be a Sparkle Horse no, record. It's a collaboration. It's a, yeah, it's just going to be something completely new. It's uh, me and Christian and possibly um, one of the people from the band Stars of the Lid. Okay. What's it going to sound like, you think? I don't know. Like something that's never been done before, I hope. So, uh, yeah, something, something that no one's heard. And did you talk about like in what direction you wanted to make songs, or like is he going to make songs at home and sending it to you, or what way are you going to work? We're gonna do everything. He's gonna, we're gonna send each other things through the mail, and then we're gonna actually get in the same studio a couple of times. I may go to um, Vienna to his studio. He may come to North Carolina to my studio for a while, but we're gonna do it both ways. 
Um, I think Vienna must be inspiring, isn't it? Yeah, I've never been to Vienna, so I'd really like I'd really like to spend some time there. Yeah. Cool, you know already what date that's going to be? No, not really sure. The first thing I'm doing is the uh, Danger Horse record with Danger Mouse. I start that in December. Okay. So that that's first, and then after that. So I think your motor starts running again, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> yeah. That's wicked, man. Yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> that was there she was already. Uh, in the record company. <laughs> Hey, um, the new album, uh, that longest title I've uh, read this year, for 2006, Dream for Light Years in the Belly of a Mountain. How the hell did you come up with a title like that? You must have been s in some state. Well, it was, for a while it was called Fear of Pop, and that seemed like it would, wouldn't age very well, so I don't know, I just um, literally just wrote words that I liked on pieces of paper and moved them around until I came up with something that I thought sounded good. That's how I came up with that title. <laughs> cool. Hey, um, some songs. Um, Don't Take My Sunshine Away. I love that song. It's a very, 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 very good song. And Shade and Honey is one of my favorite songs on the record. Uh, how could you, um, could you explain these songs? Um, well, Don't Take My Sunshine Away was... That was in pieces for a long time, and that's one that... Uh, uh, doing some work with Danger Mouse helped me and that um, we just started putting things together and I tried to articulate sounds that I heard in my head that can really only be done with a computer. They can't really be done with a razor blade and tape. Cool. What can we expect from tonight? You're going to be uh, uh, do a show here in Amsterdam? Um, well, I have a totally new band so anyone that's seen me play here before hasn't seen this new band so it, it should be really nice. Satisfied with the band? Oh yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, some, some people we shoot now from some other band? Um, bass player Paula, Paula Jean Brown, she played with Giant Sand. And uh, my keyboard player, guitar player, uh, he's uh, a great musician from Mississippi. And the drummer, uh, who also plays pump organ, he's, uh, his name is Johnny Hot, and he's my, been my best friend for 20 years. He's it's a long time. Friend. Yeah. And after that, so you're going to finish a tour here, and then um, you're going back to the States or Europe? You're going to first do Europe, isn't it? Um, going back to the States, and then I think after a couple of weeks, we come back and do Spain. And then we may do Australia and Japan and New Zealand. Not bad. Yeah. That's cool, man. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Hey, I want to thank you, and uh, all the best with you for the next coming months. Thank you. Nice to meet you.